A man can have anything if he is willing to sacrifice. With your birth comes a solemn vow. You will have nothing. Your privilege is the dirt. Well, good morning YouTube, I'm Games of Coffee and today we're doing the Monday Morning Coffee. Um, wasn't that freaking glorious? Um, next piece of the uh, of this expansion, Knights of the Fallen Empire, uh, will be coming out 5th of May, I believe. Too bad I'm gone by then. Uh, gone. Pfft. On holiday. I'll elaborate on that later on in, in this video. Um... First of all, oh my god, this trailer is freaking awesome. Yes, please. Um, as you might have known, 
or heard or seen or whatever. Uh, me, old man, fudge, and holy apple played his game. I've repeated this dozens of times in the last few uh, Monday morning coffees. Um, and well, I'm the only one next to uh, old man who have come th as far as being able to play Knights of the Fallen Empire. And it's goddamn glorious. Anyway, um, hmm. What have I been up to this week? Um, I've been uh, ending my last uh, few series. Um, things like the, uh, like Firewatch. Uh, papers, please. And um, goddamn it. Now I have to think of other things. Anyway. Uh, it's oh shit it, I really need to think of new things however next week I won't be uh, I won't be here I'll be uh, I'll be on holiday in Belgium again it's an annual thing and um, well I'll be uploading uh, some scheduled uh, videos so you don't have to uh, suffer from coffee withdrawal or games of coffee withdrawal uh, which means um, I'll probably be playing XCOM the first episode which will be oh wait that'll be this first this uh, which will be this um, Tuesday probably and for Thursday I need or Friday I need to think of something else however um, obviously like I just said um, Tuesday will be XCOM day and hell I don't know what's going to be Friday Friday used to be Firewatch but now it's not gonna be it anymore since it uh, ended last Friday, which I, I'm kind of kind of missed the series. It was a, it was an emotional roller coaster. I really liked the series. It's, I don't know. It, it had something special. The, uh, the story was great. It was different from what I usually play. And. I had a lot of fun doing it. Really. It just I gotta miss it. Moving on, um XCOM. You know, uh I've asked in the past, which rhymes by the way, who wants to be in my XCOM badass team? Any any takers? Oh shit, gonna get shotgun. Gonna get shotgun run. Oh god damn it, games of coffee, you suck. Anyway, um I want to be in my team of ultimate badasses. Who wants to kick alien ass and send them go packing back home. Because they suck. If you do, please leave your name and specs down here if you want uh, I don't know, red armor, green armor. I don't know, pink armor for that matter. Leave your name in this uh, in this video down below in the comment section, and I'll make sure you'll be in there, either on the A team or if my A team is packed, on the B team, which will be uh, taken into action more than often, more than I like to admit, because <laughs> uh, I haven't had any luck in flawless victories lately, so. Um, it, it's going, it's, I don't know if anyone is interested, but I'm going to play it anyway, because I like it. And I'm, uh, well, not good at it, but, <laughs> oh dear. Um, and also, if you have, um, if you've seen my Steam game list, 
if you have any suggestions for me to play please do um, leave me a like um leave me a like leave me a comment on what to play mm. and I'll make sure it will be played <laughs> so uh, moving on next week won't be there um, won't be here it's holiday and um, I made sure I could get the week off from work and I'll be spending my day in the beautiful Belgium Ardennes it's going to be awesome and well it's a family reunion so that's that's awesome it's not like your stereotypical shit like or aunts ants or whatever you want to say uh, going my what have you grown because well we do see each other on a decently regular basis and we like to throw in a party every now and then so that's I like that that's the way to do it and well we <laughs> we take a week off every every year and just get together in a on a campsite and we just have some fun it should be done every now and then I'll be only thing I'll be uploading for sure from on site will be the Monday morning coffee only downside is um, it will contain me in person which kind of sucks for you <laughs> I know I know um, yep, let's get to a nice spot here and let's start snapping the rest up. Um, on, boys. Um, oh, yes. And there's always plenty of beer on site, so that, that always makes up for fun times. Right? Hmm. Oh. Noodle, don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't. Anyway, <laughs> the uh, the whole day is once a year, so you won't be missing me too long. And I'll be uploading. I'll be kind of uploading uh, every day's video, so that that won't be a problem. Let's hope I can record everything in time. Because, as usual, my Monday morning coffee turns out to be Monday afternoon coffee for me. And it sucks. And somehow I just simply can't get stuff done. And that's my own fault. Let's see what to talk about more. Um, April, April. Ah yes. Soon it'll be uh well soon. That'll take a while. However, there will be uh next week will be Tank Fest in uh, at the Bovington Tank Museum. Which will be awesome. Uh you Yes please. Uh, let me just uh let me just get to it. Um, unfortunately, the uh, the Bovington Tank Tiger Day actually is already. Uh, I believe it's booked. It's fully. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, well, that's uh, that's fun. Anyway, um, Tiger Day. It's it's kind of awesome. It's it's where they showcase every. Uh, every still working tank that's in the museum like the uh, tiger like I said before uh, I believe they have a never Sherman as well and but mostly the day is centered around tiger 131 if you've seen the uh, movie um, fury 
That's the tiger that they fight against. It's the only operational tiger tank left. And well, it's a pity. It's a pity such things go uh, go to waste because it's a really piece of uh, neat history. But then again, it's like most uh, German tanks from the Second World War. It was expensive, not mass produced. It um, also the, uh, the the spare parts were really rare, and it was in action in Africa. So it's. Um, all those factors combined eventually turned it into uh, into the captured piece that it was currently that it is currently in. Um, the Allies captured this tank in uh, in North Africa after the uh, m after the end of the North African campaign by Erwin Rommel. If you if you are a bit uh, history orientated, you know Aaron Rommel was uh, the uh, Desert Fox, the one who was supposed to save the desert campaign in in North Africa. However, the Italians let him down, so that was kind of a bummer for him. And also, he was simply uh, he was simply outgunned. The uh, supplies were not there it, it just simply everything worked against him while he did his best actually he was a really good commander if you want to know more just just google him Erwin Rommel one of the best commanders in the second world war I might, must add let's see let's see what uh, yes oh wait um, that piece of equipment from uh, that I told you about the uh, Sherman that will be a tank fest, which will be a really great day. Um, to I, I wish I could go. Too bad I can't. It's bloody expensive. I and I just currently can't. It's oh my god! I'd love to go there, but I. It's not meant to be. Maybe next year. And oh my god, have you ever seen what drives there? Oh my god, I really want that. There's so many f stuff there. Anyway, me, uh, me blabber enough. Um, and this is the time to end this video again. It's been a pleasure. Last. Uh, 40 minutes it's been a pleasure and um, I hope you've liked this video if you did please leave a like comment subscribe all down here in the description and under the video anyway and I hope you've enjoyed this and see you again in the next video ciao